And what's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. It is your boy, Cheap Ludes, and uh, I have not been having fun at all <laughs> in NBA 2K21, my team. These spotlight challenges are some of the most difficult challenges that I've ever experienced in my team period throughout the years. I think the only one I can think of that I remember being harder than this one was a challenge back from like 2K15 where you had to beat the all 80 squad with just silver and bronzes. Like that was the only thing I could remember being tougher than this. And I probably could beat that now easier than I could beat some of these. Like realistically, 2K needs to address this and they need to come through and patch the difficulty on these challenges because they are absurd. There's already people that have Bill Russell, so it's not like they're impossible by any means, but from what I understand, it's significantly easier over on next gen just because you can actually shoot on the Hall of Fame difficulty where you cannot do that on current. But next gen has its own challenges as well. The contest system is completely broken on next gen. The CPU will contest every shot that you take, regardless how far away they are from you. Yeah, there's people who are like, just curry slide 47 times and eventually you'll get open. But it's just like, dude, that doesn't even always work. <laughs> like, it doesn't. Sometimes, like, they'll come through and contest shots that they shouldn't be contesting. And granted, you can make whites over here. Like, it's still rough. I found that there's certain challenges that are easier over on next gen. There's certain challenges that are over on current gen. And I mean, it's just an absolute nightmare. 2K has to nerf this CPU in some way, shape, or form. I'll, over on next gen, it's almost impossible to get rebounds. Like, I'm not even kidding. I, I don't even understand what's happening. But, like, rebounds are not something that you can come by easily over on next gen. Just like shooting is not something that works very well in any way, shape, or form over on current gen. Steals and blocks are pretty much chalk it up to randomness 90% of the time. Like, it's not something that you can control for the most part. I mean, obviously, the content creators who are incredibly good at this game and play this game literally 24-7 because they're paid to do so are going to be able to get these done, and even they're having issues with it, so you know it's not great. My, my thought on this is there's no point to even do these anymore at this point. Like, I'm not even kidding. There's no point to do these. Because the way 2K handles power balancing, granted, yes, these cards will be usable for the rest of the year because that's how good they are. I just don't think that there's any reason that you should put yourself through this much stress unless you have the amount of time necessary to do these because you're going to have to replay most of the challenges above superstar difficulty. Yeah, occasionally you'll get a couple done first try, maybe second try or something like that, but there's a lot of challenges you'll have to repeat five to six times. And I'm talking about the majority of 2K players, not if you're a CPU offline god, like you're going to be able to get these done, but I mean, there's no point to doing these. They're going to drop. I don't think we'll see any content tomorrow um, just because the enshrine packs and the other packs don't end until Monday. So I think we're not I don't think we're seeing anything tomorrow um, pack wise. I think we're going to see something different. Maybe it's like a token market update or possibly like a super pack. We could see like a super pack in the mix. It's tough to really say what's going to happen tomorrow with the way 2K has set up the content. So this I got to say, dude, this uh thunder challenge on next gen is dude ray allen hitting 360 layups at 100 percent clip like my god yeah so i wanted to post like a status on how i'm doing with the uh <laughs> the spotlight challenges because i haven't really been posting too much since the spotlights came out because i've been trying to get them done but i'm at the point now where i'm just i don't care like i'm not doing them i'm not doing this like it's not happening bill russell looks great i just don't really care enough to get this done which is sad, because if you guys know anything about me as a 2K player, like, I've always been someone that finishes the offline grinds. Like, that's my favorite part of the experience, is the offline grinds. I'm not an online player, really, at all. I'll play TTO, and I'll play Unlimited when I have to, but I don't generally enjoy the offline or online aspects of the last couple 2Ks. And the fact that I'm not even enjoying the, on, like the offline aspects is, is wild. Like, these suck. <laughs> like, these suck hard. And the fact that you basically need to have both gens to really get this done, because there's some certain challenges that are almost impossible to do on next gen, and there's certain challenges that are almost impossible to do on current. Like any of the layup or dunk based ones where you have to 
do, you know, eight layups against the Spurs CPU, which is, my God, so ridiculous. They're just easier to do over on current gen. Now, if you are having trouble with that, pass and screen away, call that play, um, and then speed boost to the rim for a layup. Use someone like Penny Hardaway. That's who I had the most success doing. But regardless, like, if you look over on, on next gen, I'm on Hall of Fame difficulty right now. I made sure to change it. And, like... A, I've just came from current gen, so shooting is, like, wildly different. I have to get my timing down. But you can actually make whites, which I think is, like, pretty interesting because you cannot make whites at all. You can basically not shoot on Hall of Fame difficulty, and a lot of these challenges require you to not only shoot, uh, but shoot at an incredibly high clip. I believe there's a challenge where you have to shoot perfect from the field from three-point range on Hall of Fame difficulty. And on current gen, that's just not a possibility. And to a certain extent on next gen, it's not either because next gen, granted, you can make whites, um, especially on the higher difficulties, like you'll miss a lot as well. Like, as you can see, like I have Kawhi Leonard who has Ray Allen based with blinders and he has one of the easiest releases in the game to make whites and he's still bricking. But I think that's just going to happen. It, it's just unfortunate. And I mean, realistically, n nobody should be putting themselves through this much stress to get this card. Like... I have to credit 2K for giving us as many, like, great free cards this year, but at the same time, they're locking them behind such impossible things to do. Like, this Spotlight, everyone was excited for Spotlight Sims, and they've basically just killed the hype around Spotlight Sims by making them so difficult. I get it. Like, you don't want them to get done in, like, five minutes. I understand that. You want people to have to grind a bit for them, and I under I understand, but they need to address it, and they need to come out, and they need to nerf this CPU because it's not possible the way it is. 1% of the player base is going to finish this, and that's crazy. The game just went on sale. That's the other part, too, is, like, the game just went on sale, which is what they do when Spotlight Sims come out. They usually put the game on sale to entice people to come play this game mode. All this is going to do is turn people right the fuck off this game mode. Like, no one is going to play this at this point. Like, when you come on and you just buy this game, and the first thing you got to do is try to do these spotlight sims, and they're this impossible, for players who've been playing this game all year long, and for years in general, you're not going to play this game anymore, and people aren't doing that. So, I don't really have a huge reach. It's not like I can really tell 2K to nerf this. Like, nothing, nothing I say is going to matter at all, but... It's just crazy. The only reason I wanted to make this video is because everyone... I've seen so many content creators just gloating about how they finish this or how it's easy. Like, oh, easy peasy, I got Bill Russell. No, it's not. Like, it's not easy peasy. And all it's doing is making people feel trash for no reason whatsoever. Like, this is hard, dude. Like, these are stupidly hard. These are unnecessarily hard. Like, they shouldn't... This shouldn't be that hard. Now, looking at some cards you could use if you really want to put yourself through this stress, like Jonathan Isaac, when you do the block challenges, it's just best to run three three giants, and Jonathan Isaac is an excellent point guard. And I say point guard because when you run three giants, you need at least somebody who can bring the ball up, and like, Jonathan Isaac can do that. Bull Bull works also, but I find it easier to block shots with Jonathan Isaac. I don't know what it is. Uh, his block animations are just a bit better, in my opinion. I don't know. Could just be personal luck, but that's kind of how I've been feeling. Now, Penny Hardaway for any layup challenges is essential. Because he's six foot seven, because he's fast, because he does all of this stuff, like you're going to be able to block shot or not block shots, but you're going to be able to get layups at an incredibly high clip with him. Now, like, I guess Lonzo Ball works as well. Um, to a certain extent, like Jerry West also works, but I just find it better to use somebody tall and fast like Penny Hardaway. Like that's just what I've had the most success with. RJ Barrett, on the other hand, is really good for any three point shooting challenges. And that's because he has Rudy Gay base and he makes a lot of whites, but realistically anybody with Ray Allen base or base 22 are going to be your best bet. So guys like Corey Maggette, Kawhi Leonard, all those guys are going to be invaluable for doing this bobby jones there's multiple challenges where you have to get blocks and steals with one certain player or blocks and shooting threes with one certain player etc and for those challenges bobby jones being a multi-tool player is key 
Also, I believe he has 100 in every stat that matters. Yeah, 100 pass intercept, 100 on ball steal, 100 shot contest, 100 block shot. You really can't ask for much more. Um, and Bobby Jones is going to be the way to go. And I believe the exchange is still active. So he's definitely worth doing. Artis Gilmore block shots too. Um, depending on the challenge, he might be very helpful as well. Uh, same with James Donaldson. James Donaldson has good block animations. Andre Karolinko to a certain extent, but he just, uh, for whatever reason, he just doesn't work out. Javel, if you want to go cheaper, he blocks a lot of shots as well. Uh, Jackson Hayes isn't bad either, actually. Surprisingly, he's a little expensive at this point. Hakeem, I don't know what it is, but I, I cannot block shots with this dude whatsoever. That Houston challenge against Tracy McGrady, uh, Steve Francis, and Yao Ming is the most impossible thing I've done, period. Like I, They don't miss. Uh, another guy that can help for a multitude of challenges would be Ben Simmons. Whether that be dunks or layups, like because he's so big and so lanky, he's able to get a lot of layups off that would normally get blocked. And during that Spurs challenge, you need that because Tim Duncan, man, ugh. you're just going to need to isolate Bruce Bowen and attack and try to get David Robinson and Tim Duncan as far away from the hoop as possible using pass and screenaways, which is the first play when you click left on the D-pad. Bull Bull is somewhat helpful as well, but I'm finding I've been having issues with Bull Bull. He just refuses to rebound the ball, I swear, especially on next gen. No one really rebounds the ball very well over here, but God, he is having some terrible, terrible rebounding games, man. Now, if you're looking at cards just to go for, like, and you don't want to get all these done, you just want some pretty good cards. Like, Tyreek Evans is very good. Um, Calvert actually seems to be incredibly good as well. Katina, or not Katina Mobley, uh, Corey Maggetti is incredibly good. Manu Ginobili is very good. There's a couple other guys, like Michael Cooper looks good, Dave Cowan. So if you don't want to do all of these and you want to still get some of these cards, some of them are easier than others, and I do wish you the best of luck. But it has been your boy Cheap Ludes, and I wanted to just give you a status update on how I'm doing with Spotlight Sims because I haven't been posting too many videos because I've been trying to grind, but I decided that I'm just going to give up on them. So... <laughs> <laughs> Comment down below what you think of Spotlight Sims because in my opinion they suck. They're awful. 2K needs to change it ASAP or else no one's going to play it anymore. But check the description for all my stuff and I'll be back with more content later. So peace out guys. Don't stress yourself out. <laughs>